There are two types of four-wheel drive uh, vehicles, which is obviously four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. In this video, I'll be showing you guys the difference between the four-wheel drive system and the all-wheel drive system. And keep in mind that all-wheel drive is different than four-wheel drive, and I will be explaining why. First of all, when I started learning about all-wheel drive systems, I thought all-wheel drive was kind of the same as four-wheel drive, but I later learned that it's different. Here's why. Four-wheel drive cars, which is usually found on more, most off-roading cars like the some Ford F-150s, uh, Jeep Wranglers, uh, just to name a few, all right? How they work, oh, don't forget the Ford, uh, the Toyota 4Runner too. Anyways, how this works is the engine is over here somewhere. It's not, I didn't label it. And all that power is gonna go to either, uh, you select the two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive system, but all that power is gonna go connected to your transmission, and then that, and that will be transferred into the transfer case, which has differentials and a clutch system. And that will be connected to this little short drive shaft entering the front differential. To turn on the select, to turn on the four wheel drive system on, they use what we call a vacuum motor. There are two of them, one over here on the front axle and one towards the transfers case. And that will be connected to the logic switch. And all that power from the vacuum motor will be connected here which is the front axle disconnection system and then all of that shenanigans uh, that will all that rest of the power from the engine from the transmission to the transfer case and all of that will be connected to the rear differential to the rear axle so when you're driving a car that's four-wheel drive on normal street conditions you're driving on two-wheel drive either the front wheel drive or the rear wheel drive because in some four-wheel drive cars they have a transversely mounted engine okay and that include cars like the Honda Ridgeline and the Honda Pilot and the Honda CRV, just to name a few. They would have in two wheel drive mode in those cars, it will be front wheel drive. But once you activate four wheel drive, you will have the rear differential on. Cars like Subaru, in some cars like the Jeep, like the Jeep Wrangler, for example, has this type of layout. And four wheel drive in general has is a big mess, okay? Because you got more gears to to be operated and there's more more parts to be to be worked on so that's pretty much the basic stuff of what you find on four-wheel drive cars let's take a look at an all-wheel drive system uh, these this is the most basic as i can get and usually with four, with all-wheel drive cars you will find it in cars like the subaru impreza you will find it in more more of the modern lamborghinis except in lamborghinis the engine is located here instead of on the front but most commonly the all-wheel drive system is famous on the Subaru Impreza and, La and some of the modern Lamborghinis just to name a few there are plenty of cars that have all-wheel drive system but I'm just gonna give you guys the most well-known anyways all-wheel drive you got the engine obviously and then it's connected to a differential in which that differential will be connected into the to an inside I don't know what you call it but it's it's like a half of a drive shaft and then that will be connected to something we call a central differential and keep it and also the central differential is inside the transfer case on a four-wheel drive car so there's your central differential and that will be connected into your rear axle or rear differential to your rear axle so with all-wheel drive as you can see here it's pretty much basic than what you find on four-wheel drive you don't have to rely on that mess whereas with all-wheel drive, it's pretty much clean. So that's why cars like Lamborghini and Subaru, they decided to put this kind of drivetrain layout for cars like the Subaru Impreza and the Lamborghini Gallardo, for example, just to um, free up some space without having to rely on something like this. Although both drivetrain layouts do pretty much function the same way, you know, for all four wheels are being driven, there's a big difference between the two, like I said earlier. Four-wheel drive is more of your off-roading, you know, Jeep Wrangler, uh, Ford, some of the Ford F-150s and so on and so forth. All the heavy-duty vehicles will use this type of system. All-wheel drive, you will find them in most high and more performance cars, uh, like I said, um, 
Subaru Impreza, Lamborghinis, modern Lamborghinis specifically, you will find some of them in like cars like the Dodge, the Dodge uh, Challenger, the new Dodge Challengers, and the Dodge Chargers, and so on and so forth. So, whatever suits you best, if you're really into off roading, go ahead and get yourself an all, a four wheel drive system. If you want to get into more performance driving, go ahead and get yourself all-wheel drive. Yes, I know there are some cars that use the all-wheel drive system and they use for off-roading, like Mitsubishi, not, not Mitsubishi, sorry, um, uh, Subaru Impreza, the the world-time WRC uh, rally car, the Subaru Impreza, uses the all-wheel drive system. So, but all in all, though, four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive are separate from each other. Like I said earlier, I thought at first these were all the same, but I did further research, they are different from each other. Four wheel drive, you have to rely on this mess just to get all four wheels to be driven. Because to keep it a simple term, four wheel drive, you have the option of turning it turning it to four wheel drive or driving on two wheel drive. Whereas all wheel drive is full permanent four wheel drive. So Hope that clears everything up. If not, I uh, will make an update video on this one soon, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.